All right, y'all, today we're about to talk about why I will not be paying bride price. A lot of you men are paying labola, you're paying dowry. I'm black American, I'm currently traveling the world, but currently I'm in the continent of Africa. And in a lot of countries I go to, the topic always comes up of bride price. Now, me, I'm a polygamous man. You know, I believe that I'm gonna have a few different ladies. I've done it before, you guys can check out the other videos on my channel, but I'm looking for something serious. And what I've realized is, unfortunately, we're dealing with a different caliber of women than we had before. Now, this video is going to be very beneficial for you men that are living inside of Africa, because a lot of you guys are the main ones paying. See, in America, we grow up, we don't pay a dowry, okay? In America, traditionally, you're going to pay for the wedding and you're going to pay for the ring. Now, for us Americans, it hasn't worked out, unfortunately. Now me, I've been a part of the lucky few men that haven't, you know, gotten on child support or alimony. But in America, if you end up marrying a woman, she gets to keep the ring, which is supposed to be a symbol of your love for that woman, and she gets to pawn it. So she's gonna sell your ring. Also, when it comes to marriage, a lot of these women in America, they get married just so they can put you on alimony. How long does alimony last? A lot of you guys might be curious alimony in America can last until that woman gets remarried. So just imagine you've worked your life off for your business. You meet this woman and she comes into your life just to extort from you and to take from you. These women are very different from the women that we had before. You guys know I'm American, but you guys are South African probably watching this since I'm currently in South Africa, probably from all over the world. You guys are watching too. Um, but let's just say for the example of Mandela. Mandela had a real woman on his side. You know, there's certain men that have real women on their team. Nowadays, we have women that don't even know that they're women. They don't want to even cook, clean. They barely want to even have kids for you. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? It's crazy. So uh, we're dealing with a whole different caliber of women. And a lot of these women are non-traditional. So I believe as a man that I shouldn't be doing all the way traditional things too. How am I about to go out, go out of my way and be doing something that's considered traditional if you're not even a traditional woman? Now, let's give my reasons to why I will not pay the bride price. I have my notes here, as I said. I won't pay bride price because a lot of these women are not virgins. That's the first thing on my list. Now, originally, like I said, dowry was meant for traditional women. A traditional woman was a virgin back in the day, guys. You know, a lot of you guys seem to get it twisted, think you have to get a young woman to get a virgin. No, there is still some women around this world that are older in their 20s that still haven't engaged in intercourse because they value their body and they're not willing to let any man sleep with them. I'm not willing to pay top dollar of my money given a woman that has had intercourse with other men. I All men want virgin women. This is just a fact. This is biological. All men want virgin women. Why are we paying top dollar for a lot of these women that are used and abused? Imagine, even on a spiritual level, this woman has had so many men come inside of her body, no pun intended. She's had so many men come inside of her body, it could even mess up the spiritual realm inside of her womb. Imagine that your child, your seed, your legacy is inside of that woman, but all the, I'm trying to keep it YouTube friendly, all the intercourse demons from all the men that have been inside that woman's body that may have not been good men are just moving and swimming around in her body, messing it up, and those demons get into your child. That's just the spiritual level. We're not even talking about the cleanliness of it. Don't you want your child to be inside of a womb that is clean? Don't you want your child to be inside of a womb that is uh, that is healthy? A lot of these women don't even know they have shit. Like they, they, it's unfortunate, but it's just a fact. Another issue too with dowry or why I won't pay is because a lot of unfortunate uh, situations where you'll notice Americans might come over, they might actually fall in love with an African woman. Okay, you fall in love with her. That's great. Love is a beautiful thing. The parents will try to extort the American given the fact that he comes from a country where he makes more money. Now, typically, dowry might not take cost more than 10,000 USD for, for a lot of men around Africa. You know, a lot of men pay way less than that. We're talking 5,000, 2,000 sometimes. The wedding might cost like 200 USD. But since you're an American, guess how much it's going to cost you? 10 times the price. But you're not getting 10 times the woman. You see the problem, brothers? 
they will try to extort you as a man and say, oh, you need to pay top dollar for a woman that's been tainted completely. The other issue with, you know, uh, bride price as well, and I keep switching up the lingos of which country because I've been all over. So currently I'm in South Africa, so I need to call it Labola because that's what they call bride price over here. But you'll notice if she doesn't have a, a mother or father inside of her life, she might have uncles and brothers that are trying to extort you too. Oh, since you're American, you know you're going to have to pay this much for my niece. You know, I'm not about to get punked out here. I'm not about to get punked. Have you men been an instrumental uh, force inside of this niece's life or your sister's life? Have you men ever contributed to anything? A lot of these men, especially in Africa, unfortunately, I'm seeing a lot of dudes that's just looking at American black men as just, oh, these are money. These are cash cows. I'm not about to get finesse. If you want to be a loser and let one of these chicks have their family dupe you, then that's on you. But I'm not willing to be it. Y'all hear me? Um, yeah, there's just a lot of greed, you know, which is disgusting. Because to me as a man, you need to be a hustler and get it on your own. Don't look at your brothers that's coming over here and, and being awesome. Oh, you know, I'm about to go ahead and extort this dude. He's American. Let me go ahead and get money. You see he in love with your, with your daughter. Or you see he in love with your niece. You see he in love with your uh, sister. You see that he has money financially and he could build not just for, you know, your niece and this man and the child, but he can also create legacy for the whole entire family name. But instead, your disgusting greed makes it so he can't even marry the woman and the daughter's half scared to shit because she don't want to offend the family. It's ridiculous. Another issue on why I won't pay social, uh, why I won't pay uh, bride prices because a lot of these women nowadays are raised by social media. They're raised by social media. They don't have a real family and a real traditional backing. A lot of these women, they're raised by social media. And it's unfortunate because, you know, originally coming to Africa years ago, I had really thought to myself, I said, these women are going to be so much more in tune with their femininity. True divine femininity isn't like, you know, shaking butt and, you know, calling it traditions. True divine femininity is not arguing with your man and saying, this is, you know, how you become a real woman, not cooking and cleaning. I don't have to listen to my man. True divine feminine is being happy in your feminine energy. Just like I'm truly divinely masculine and I'm happy in my masculine energy. Ladies act like, oh, you know, nowadays they're taught with social media. If I couldn't clean, I'm a slave. Don't you ever disrespect your ancestors like that. Don't you ever. Real slavery was real pain. C cooking and cleaning is a, is, a, is a life that your ancestors wish they could have. All the things and torture they went through for you to get here right now. And you're so unappreciative and so devoid and of understanding your history that you say to yourself, oh, you know, uh, you know, I'm not about to be a slave for my man. That's not real slavery. And I'm sure your man doesn't want to be a slave to you. A lot of men are out here willing to put their life on the line at any given moment for the for the children and for the wife. A lot of men are willing to uh, go outside and uh, make ends meet sacrifice so much daily to come home to a cooked meal and you complaining about that? Shame. Ridiculous. These are usually city women, by the way, y'all. These are usually city women, you know, um, where you'll find all these issues. Uh, so next is uh, what I will do. I'll take care of my family. I will be the man. I will be the protector and the provider of my family. And who is my family? Is it just my child and my wives? No. It's also the mother, the father, the the brother of my of my of one of my wives. It's also uh you know her her nieces, her her nephews, her her younger siblings as well. I will be a provider. I will be a protector for my family. That's what I will do. But when it comes to sacrificing cash just straight up oh here you go here's money for for this woman that's you know she's been tainted and you guys didn't even raise her right i'm not paying full price for that i'm not paying full price for that and a lot of y'all if y'all gonna pay some type of bright price pay it on a you need a you need to go ahead and make sure that number one you can get your money back when that marriage doesn't work out and number two you need to also ensure that um you're not paying full price would you pay full price for a used car no 
That's just a fact of the matter. Does that mean that this woman is invaluable because she's had, she's had intercourse? No, but it does mean that it brings down the quality. It brings down the quality. Do you still love and care about this woman, even though she's been, uh, you know, around all these dudes or she's been on social media? Yes, you may actually have lots of love for this woman. But at the same time, we cannot act like quality isn't important when it comes to dealing with women. I will still protect and provide for my family. The mother gets sick. Her mom gets sick. I will go there and spend a bag on the mom. This is my mother-in-law. I care about her. I want her best interest. But if it comes down to it, and I don't see people this, um, and I don't see, and I don't see a real family unit, just because I don't want to pay dowry, your daughter's not traditional, so I'm not gonna be all the way traditional either. I'm still gonna do what I have to do as a man, biologically speaking. But when it comes to your little traditions, no, this is a completely different world than what the past world was. I've been all around the planet, all around, and I'm telling you guys. This, I've talked to the elders, and this is not acceptable behavior. In the elders' speech, I don't take it from me, this is what the elders have told me. The women of today are completely ridiculous. This is unfortunate. Let's get on to the next one. Um, I will still, and another thing I will still be doing for my wife and my children and my family dynamic is legacy building. I'm truly big on building something more than just, you know, uh, most people, how they want to work a nine to five and make money just for the now. I'm big on the now, the present, the future. You know, what I'm, saying? I'm big on all that. You know, it's one thing to just to work for now, just for your child. But you also want to be working so that you can elevate your people in the right type of in the right type of way. Y'all, you don't want to just be working and it's, it's still commendable, right? You're still being a man working for your child. I think that's respectable as well. I can still honor that. But I'm saying we want to, each, each black man that comes around, we want to elevate more than we depreciate, okay? And a lot of black men, unfortunately, I'm seeing a lot of depreciation and value. I don't see a lot of black men wanting more for themselves and for their children. You think just because you work a nine to five is enough. No, you never stop working. You never stop grinding. Y'all see this view right here. Y'all think it's nice. To me, this is pathetic. I should be higher. So the legacy never ends. The legacy never ends. You keep going, you keep pushing, no matter what. Because this is what you do when you truly care about your people and when you truly care about your family. What does Dom Toretto always say? Family means everything. Family is everything in life. This is your blood. And even though we don't know a lot of each other, you know, and I might not know you watching, you are still melanated, most likely. You're my family at the end of the day. We need to elevate in a healthy manner, but we cannot be playing these games and doing this, you know, you know, like we're like we're living in the past as men being traditional men, but we're dealing with non-traditional women. Hopefully this video made sense to you guys. Hopefully it resonates with you guys. I know we're going to get a lot of hate on this. I know this is a controversial subject. Let me know down below in the comment section what you guys think about the topic. Will you be paying bride price if you go ahead and move to one of these countries? Will you be uh, a traditional man in a world where there's extremely unruly and untraditional women? You let me know down below. All right, y'all. Travel, try rock. Like, comment, subscribe. Say wrong, say real. What else we be saying? I don't know. We out. Holla. <laughs> We about to do an interesting pop the balloon challenge, all right? The question of today is, can men and women be friends? If you don't believe men and women can be friends, then pop your balloon. Three, two, one. Oh, okay. Call up one friend that you have that is male. Hi, Tony. How are you? What is it that an African man has to do to keep you over a white man? How would you control a woman, per se? Manipulation. Manipulation? Yeah. So you would manipulate women? Yeah, I would. So if you was a man for one day, you would manipulate women. Hey, hey you're the... What else besides money do y'all value in 2024? Why do y'all ladies deserve to go on dates? I'm pretty sweet. Get you some money, then travel for the... <laughs>